Hello, hello! Welcome back to Let's Talk HP Lovecraft. I hope that you've already subscribed to our channel, but if you haven't, please take a moment to do that now. All right, so we are about to talk about Collapsing Cosmos from 1935, written by Lovecraft and R.H. Barlow, and it is the single worst thing in existence, I think, with Lovecraft's name on it, and you're going to find out all about it here in a moment. All right, so the way that these reviews work is I give a brief synopsis of what happens in the story and then sort of share um, what it all means to me and if it's worth your time. This one's not worth your time, but I think you should still watch the end of the video. All right, so um, in this two-page tale, an alien being sees something on his scope. He realizes this to be an attack from beyond the known space-time continuum. Um, he goes, relays the message to his uh, his superiors um, in the intercosmic chamber of commerce. Uh, they might have six centuries to wait before the attack gets here, but they're all riled up to go and fight and take on this challenge. And of course, our weird alien narrator, uh, who we barely meet, is to be among those who go by spaceship out to meet this coming challenge. All right, so um, as I said, worst thing with Lovecraft's name on it. Um, this was written as a round robin with Barlow. Um, one would write a, a line, somebody else would write a line, and, and so on and so forth for about two pages. Um, it is intended to be a criticism of bad science fiction or space opera, and um, unfortunately, it's just not that good. Um, I don't know that it was ever intended to reach publication, um, and quite frankly, it should never have reached publication. As something of an amateur Lovecraft scholar, I'm kind of glad that it does exist for me to uh, to have a glimpse into that um, uh, part of him, these things that probably should never have been published. Um, however, it's just not clever enough to be very interesting. Um, as I often say, um, if it were longer, you could probably make something of it, but but as it is, as this little small two-page exercise, it just does, does nothing for me, and I suspect that it'll do very little for you, unless, of course, maybe you're writing a paper on Lovecraft and you actually have something to gain from the more obscure pieces from his, uh, uh, from his bibliography, uh, but that's that. Um, you know, it, I get it. Um, they're lampooning bad science fiction, Bad science fiction annoys me as well, but it's just not that interesting the way that they try to do it. And um, yeah, I will never read this again. And as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to stop thinking about it because it's sort of um, uh, B-movie, um, made for television, the asylum movie style bad. It, it's just not good in any conceivable way that I can come across. So... There you have it, uh, Collapsing Cosmos, written in 1934 or 1935 by Lovecraft and R.H. Barlow. Um, Barlow, you remember, at this point in his life was still a teenager, so I give him a break, but Lovecraft, yeah, I expect better from you. Um, up next will be The Challenge from Beyond, which has several co-authors, including Lovecraft, so that should be pretty interesting. That should be a big boost compared to the last couple of stories, which have been um, rather lackluster. So, all right. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe until next time. Keep it creepy.